Welcome back to our channel. My name is Ruth with Olive Gray Avenue and we're going to start building more stuff outdoors in the blazing heat. Let's go. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, make sure you do that. Hit the subscribe button below and the bell so you never miss a video from us. Here's where our outdoor kitchen's going. I don't know if kitchen is the right word because it's literally just like a structure around the grill. I'm not doing a, a sink or anything, but whatever. I'm calling it an outdoor kitchen. So I'm gonna start taping off my design or whatever and that'll let me envision and kind of see where I need things to go. It's just super helpful. So I recommend taping off things if you're not sure or even if you are. So I tape things out not to get exact measurements but really to kind of get a feel for what I'm going for. Steve actually asked me if I measured everything or just went by the tape measurements. Don't go by the tape measurements. And sometimes you can avoid other things going wrong if you catch it when you're taping it out. So I went to the store, I got some pressure treated lumber. I toyed with the idea of going with concrete blocks. I know they're going to be more fire resistant because wood does burn, but we're going to take some steps to make sure that if there is ever a fire, nothing will burn down. got a new tool. I have to drill into concrete, which is hard. And Steve usually does it. We don't have a hammer drill. Goodness, how do you get this thing open? It's really hard to, you have to like put a lot of pressure down and kind of like mimic a hammer, hammer drill by like tapping into it. So I was like, I don't think I'll be able to do that because it's hard for him and much stronger than I am. So I got a new tool. It's only 60 bucks because I got the corded version. I hardly ever use it. And then the battery won't die or anything. So I think it'll work out just fine. And then I also got a Diablo speed, speedman, speedman. It's just a hammer drill bit a quarter inch because the screws I got are a quarter inch. So this is what we're gonna be using. This, this is a beast. My least favorite part, the instructions. I'm gonna give them this seed to read. I mean, this goes somewhere. I guess I have to read it to figure out where it goes. <laughs> no, I don't. I should look at the picture. I know we the instructions. Okay, fine. It does make sense to read them. I just don't like it. I'm gonna keep reading the instructions and then we're gonna go drill some holes in some concrete. So now I'm happy with the placement of the grill. I wanna make sure that all the dimensions are correct and measured correctly because ideally I want the countertop to go flush with the top of the grill. So not only do I have to account for this board, I also have to account for the cement board and the tile, which means I need at least an inch. I'll just line it up with those two dots. All right, well, this block is gonna intersect this pipe, but we'll figure that out and it'll be fine. And I'll be able to move the wood and drill through the concrete.
I wasn't thinking. I got a quarter inch bit for a quarter inch screw, which is too big. It just fits right in. So, new holes. It's fine. It's fine. I just have to drill more holes. Learn from me. All in all, I think I drilled like 11 holes. So now I'm especially glad I got a hammer drill. Otherwise it would have been torture. So the back is on. I'm gonna cut down the rest of the framing for the base. This is where the shape of the grill will actually start to take place. drill some pocket screws and these I attached the front brace and the back brace now the side ones I'm gonna attach those to them so I'm not drilling so many holes in concrete because that's hard I really hate pocket screws they're great they work great yada yada but do I like them no I hate drilling the holes and I hate driving in the screws but I'm gonna do it so I drilled the front and the back two by fours. I drilled through them, through the brick, into the concrete to secure them all. So I didn't feel like I needed to secure the pieces running in between them. That's why I made those pocket screws, screwed those all together. I love that this is a really basic shape and form. So it's very simple. I'm basically mimicking the top to the bottom. Now for the wood going vertical, all I did was cut them all the same length. I did my measurements. I subtracted the height of the countertop and the height that will be added when I add another two by four on top. So I went over the measurements a few times to make sure everything was gravy. I almost forgot, well, I actually did forget this little cutout for the grill, the side burner. Luckily I was still framing it out. So it wasn't a big deal. I just detached a couple, cut them down and it was good. panel that I'm going to put in the back so that we can access the gas line. So I'm going to build a box for around this and then I measured the height of where I'm going to be putting it so I can make the studs and you'll see. Okay, I have the box to go around this and I have the pieces to sit at the bottom and then the pieces to sit at the top. Remember how I said we were gonna be fireproofing this and make sure nothing burns down? Well, this is how we're doing it. I'm using cement board. I'm cutting all the pieces to the right sizes to fit over the frame before securing anything. That way, when we go to secure it all, it'll go really fast. So yes, I spent a full day cutting cement board in the Texas heat. And yes, my back hurt after that day. It's so freaking heavy. The back pieces were really easy in that I just held them up to the back, traced the top, and cut that off. I also have a couple holes that I'm making for a vent and that access panel. Beef. So to cut out this piece in the middle of the cement board, I drilled holes in each of the four corners so that the jigsaw blade would fit through and then I just cut along the lines. Oh, 
So we need, all right, so one of the yellow tools. Bring me the drill, that's the drill. Okay, here it is. Look, I'm gonna take this off here. Nice, thanks for the battery. You're welcome. I think we only have one out there. We got yep. two, I think we got two. Oh, all right, awesome. What are we doing today, Killian? Building a kitchen outside. My turns are like and dry. <laughs> So we got a bill over here. The body is destroying. Oh, hi. Uh, I'm setting the torque so that he doesn't push it too far. So if you go all the way to the bottom, there's no torque. It doesn't, it just flips. So if you go to like 10, it has more force. So if you don't want to drive it. There you go. So this is the one you'll be using, Mr. Kuhn. Okay, I like the wheels. You do? Yeah. Good centerpiece here. Here's good. Alright, now it's your turn. Let me take turns. Yep. Oh. You drive it all the way in. Make sure it goes into the thing. Make sure you match it in. It's nice and seated, right? Okay, now you push into it and then you go. Nope. Both hands on this. There you go. There you go. Push it. Good job. Nice, buddy. Nice work. <laughs> One of my toxic traits is underestimating the time it'll take me to complete something. So next time we come back, we are going to start tiling the outside of the kitchen. So make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell so you're the first to see the new updates on this awesome kitchen. See you next week.